Oh, strikes hit balls off the wall. More on the game plan for baseball, including the weather for this weekend in a minute. But we start with Hall of Fame coach Kim Mulkey and her Lady Tigers game plan for Utah. WAFB Jacques Doucet in Greenville, South Carolina, less than 24 hours before LSU's Sweet 16 showdown. Go Tigers, baby. Go Tigers. LSU's long and exciting season has brought them here to Greenville, South Carolina. Two victories before the weekend ends, and the Tigers will be on their way to the Final Four in Dallas. In my career, all I've ever wanted was for my players and our fans to experience the high you get from cutting down a net. The greatest joy I have now in my career is sitting back and watching young people with these tears in their eyes of joy, and there's no greater feeling. The match that many people will be looking at is LSU's Bayou Barbie, Angel Reese, going head to head with Utah's anchor from Alaska, Alyssa Peeling. Where she's the most polished post player we've seen to this point. I mean, she's so big and strong inside. She knows how to post and seal. And when she gets the ball, she can finish left or right. Well, what makes her unique? She's also leading the team in three point field goal percentage. She's shooting 42%. It's going to take an all team effort. I mean, me and Day are going to have to both work on her for sure. But she's a great player. I mean, Pac 12 Player of the Year and the way that she's developed. In her two NCAA tournament games, the Anchorage native Peely has piled up 61 points and 18 rebounds. Peely is listed at six foot two, but in a recent interview, her father says no way. I mean, and they put her at six two. She's not even six. She's like barely five eleven. You know what I mean? Six foot with shoes on, but and, and for her to do that kind of stuff at that height, you know, that's you know, that's pretty. That's crazy. That's more impressive than the six two that they're saying. At the Sweet 16 with the LSU Tigers, Jacques Doucet, WAFB 9 Sports. Four o'clock start means LSU fans could catch baseball and the Lady Tigers on TV. The showdown between Arkansas and LSU baseball moved up to high noon on